Right, let's take a look at a fight that's happening this weekend for the WBA World Super Middleweight title. It sees the current champion, Karoli Balzai, going up against his challenger, Dimitri Sartizon. Before I begin, I will not be taking into consideration any politics surrounding this fight. I will be giving my prediction based on boxing alone. Right. My prediction is a victory for Karoli Balzai by decision, possibly a close one. I'm expecting this to be a tough fight. To get this title, Balzai beat the unbeaten Stanislav Kashtanov by split decision. I thought that was a very hard-fought, tough fight. Some of the shots those guys were giving each other, and they were, you know, such durability. It really was a tough fight. Uh, but there were boos in the crowd as the decision was announced for Balzai. Now, um, let's look at Balzai. He's a southpaw. He has a good, pretty good jab um, when he chooses to use it. Um, it's a pretty good lead and a lead, good lead right all in all, really. Um, he's quite good at countering. He can take a shot himself, particularly to the body, against Kashtanov. Uh, who had Freddie Roach in his corner, might I add. Kashtanov was really trying to work the right side of the body, which is closer to him because he was an orthodox fighter, and it really wasn't having too much effect on Balzai. He looks quite, dur quite a durable, tough guy. Um, he's good at holding the centre of the ring, but he can also move around if needed. Um, he's not immediately... Uh, he doesn't seem immediately that mobile, but he can move... Uh, he has some good movement there if he needs to back away and start creating some sort of distance. He throws pretty good uh, two punch combinations, you won't get much more than that out of him. He can punch with both hands, he has a decent defence, keeps quite a high guard, uh, like I said he's durable and a good thing for him in this fight I feel is he has stamina going down the stretch and he can, he, he can still come on rather strong in the 12th round. Looking at his opponent and challenger Dimitri Sartisome, as well, he's a tough guy, he's durable, he has a good jab. Uh, I think he probably has a better jab than Balzai, um, and it's a stinging jab. And he also has power, both of these guys have power. That's why I'm saying it's going to be quite a tough fight. I think he's more obviously mobile than Balzai. Sadizome looks a bit more energetic in the ring. That might help him with the judges in this, I'm not sure. But he does look like he has a bit more obvious movement than Balzai, whereas Balzai will use movement if he has to. Sadis own tends to seems like he uses movement more naturally. Um and I'm expecting a a toe to toe battle here if I'm honest. I'm expecting a tough slug out war. I'm expecting rounds to be sort of staggered throughout the fight. But I think that Balzai will come on stronger coming towards the last three, two or three rounds. I think that may sway him on the judges' scorecard slightly. Um, so all in all, I'm looking forward to a very tough fight. Um, I think both of these guys are well matched, apart from the, the fact that Satizone does use a little bit more movement. Um, but like I say, Balzai has a, just has a knack for coming on pretty good late in rounds and later in the fight. And I think that... It's going to be uh, difficult for Satizone to... Satizone could hurt him, bust him up a bit, but it could go the other way as well. So, you know, both these guys have power. Um, it's quite a tough one to call, but I'm going to go with Palsai because I think that down the stretch he's just going to be a little bit stronger. I'm going to leave it there. Please let me know what you guys think. I'd like to hear a bit more about uh, particularly Satizone because I, I don't know particularly that much about him. And, um, you know, I think I thought, you know, I did some research, but I thought... And, and you know what I've seen him in before as well, but I thought you know what I'll leave it open to, to you guys if you want to give me your opinion uh, on Satizone. So thanks guys for watching. This is Boxpred and I'm out.